Good morning, as Pastor said, I'm Harry Mueller, and Dave Luthi and I have been the co-chairs of the capital campaign. And uh, I was asked to take a few minutes this morning to bring everyone up to date on where we are on the uh, campaign and where we're going from here. Um, just to do a little bit of quick history, you remember it was almost two years ago that uh, the congregation unanimously decided to uh, do move forward with a capital campaign. And there were really just a, a couple main parts of that campaign that I want to focus on. First of all, I want to remind everybody, uh, one of the goals was 100% participation of all our congregational members. Uh, secondly, it was meant to have high visibility uh, in the approval process by the congregation. Uh, and then the third part was that uh, it would be primarily meant to be uh, for the future of uh, Trinity. And uh, you've all seen this brochure uh, many times, and that's really what this campaign is about, is looking toward the future of Trinity to allow the ministry to be sustained and grow uh, over many years. The uh, congregation also supported the hiring of a consultant, and through that consultant, the committee has been working uh, actively over the last two years. And uh, the goal of a million five uh, was really a result of that uh, committee saying, we think we can raise this, and uh, we started the process. Well, 2020 hit campaign with uh, the challenge of uh, the pandemic slowed, but never stopped. And so where are we today? I've got some really good news, but I also have uh, some challenges for the congregation as well. Uh, to this point, uh, of the million five, we have commitments for over $1.1 million. We've had 50 of our congregational families support uh, the campaign. Um, so we've raised uh, commitments of a million one. The interesting thing is we've actually gotten with, into the bank more than $400,000 toward the campaign. So where do we go from here? Um, first of all, I want to mention that we've, uh, that visibility we want to have with the congregation. Uh, recently, we've added members to the uh, committee who will really be working primarily to determine what the proper uses of the funds will be. Uh, they will uh, begin an evaluation process with the expectation that sometime uh, this summer, we will achieve the uh, 750,000 in actual cash receipts that will allow us to start spending that money and we will achieve that goal of a million five. So that, com that is one of the things that started recently. Um, we also, uh, through that committee, will be coming back to the congregation on a regular basis for your evaluation and approval of what those funds are being used for. But to get there, I'm uh, challenging the congregation today to really look at two things. For those of you who have supported the campaign and provided your gifts, what we'd really like you to do is for 2021, move your gifts forward to earlier in the year so that we can start to have funds available for the things that are very critical for this congregation. So again, thank you for those who have given, uh, and then we'd ask your prayerful consideration of moving those gifts forward for 2021. And then the other thing is that uh, we do have about 175 uh, family, um, uh, families as part of Trinity. Uh, when you've only had about 50 uh, people or 50 families that uh, have supported the campaign, we really want to go back to all of those who have not supported the campaign right now and ask whatever you can do. The goal, if you remember, was 100% participation. We're not going to ask you for a specific dollar amount. It's whatever you feel that uh, you can support. But we really want to make sure that that commitment we made as a congregation to get 100% participation really is achieved. So you're going to hear more about the campaign over uh, the next six months. I think you should all be very excited about where we're going because, again, this is sowing the future for Trinity for those folks who will be members 20, 30, 50 years down the road. Thank you.